Hello, today I'm just going to be looking at the Nike Air Jordan 1 OG High. This is the quart purple colorway. They often are called the metallic purple, but they are actually the quart purple. I'll just quickly show you the box. Uh, it does basically, the colorway does match the box, which is pretty cool. They gave basically a special edition box on these. Uh, don't know if you'll be able to see on this, but. Uh, See, it does actually say high OG court or court purple. So not a metallic purple, I guess that's just like the nickname for these. But yeah, pretty cool box, white and purple, white metallic purple box. So these released in 2021, a re-release from 2009, uh, which is then uh, a re-release from the metallic Air Jordan ones, which uh, released in 1985. There's a variety of metallic colors, I think there's a blue, red, green, the purple, black, orange, quite a few different metallic uh, Jordan ones and it basically features this colorway style, the uh, all white body with the metallic uh, collar and swoosh and uh, wing logo. Um, the 2009 pair frankly looked quite bad. Uh, for example the leather was apparently much worse uh, they had like a Jumpman logo here on the back, a purple tag with a Jumpman logo, so kind of like a uh, like a Jordan mid style for some reason. I don't know, they didn't really know what they were doing back then. The swoosh on this pair is much smaller than the 2009 pack, same with the wing, wing logo, um, kind of matching more of the original silhouette from 1985. And uh, for some reason, the purple metallic pack, or the the cool purples, as they're correctly called, in 2009 were a UK exclusive, or maybe even a Europe ex exclusive. Um, so it's funny that I've got these, but these are actually were the first time these have released kind of worldwide, or at least in the US since 1985. So that's uh, pretty cool. I really like this colorway. It's really clean, really simple. Um, they did come with purple laces as well. I'm going to keep the white laces just because uh, I don't really know what to wear with the colour purple. The colour purple is kind of awkward, right? So I'm not sure what to wear them with. I'm going to keep the white laces in, just makes them a bit easier. I'll just guess wear them with neutral colours. Uh, the largest size was a UK 9.5, so that's a UK 10.5 in men's. Uh, fine for <laughs> European people. <laughs> sort of matches the men's sizes anyway, really. They're an all-white leather. The leather isn't too bad. Let me. As you can see, it's got this kind of like tumbled leather all over. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's bad. These frankly do feel like they're going to crease really easily. Um, but the leather is okay. It's like an all-leather, all-leather body, all-leather tongue. And the purple is like a shiny patent leather. Satin on the inside, because that is like what they do with... Um, the female Jordan ones basically it's a satin interior which to be honest you I don't really have a problem with because it's like nice and soft classic outsole on the purple nothing on the back like I showed earlier the uh, classic wing man wing wing logo can I get them focus no I can't there we go uh, came with like a classic just basic all for light insole. The 2009 pair, maybe not be able to tell on camera but they actually had a darker purple, it's kind of like a sort of a bright, much brighter purple in person, kind of like it pops a lot more than it does on camera. Kind of looks like a navy on camera but uh, it's definitely purple and in the, maybe it's just the photos I've seen in the 2009 pair but they all look like a, a bit of a darker colour but they look kind of dark on camera now, so maybe that's just the uh, similar. If I compare them to the 95, no, sorry, 1985 ones, they sort of look like they match more of that colour. These, um, the 98 pack had the um, tendency to crack on this paint leather part, so we'll have to see if that does. It probably will, since they're now made with even worse leather than they did in 1985. They do uh, fit true to size. If I were to compare these with a retro, so on the left here we've got a retro. This is just an OG. 
in terms of like sizing or, or specifications they're pretty much the same it's just the swoosh is slightly bigger uh, the wingman logo is slightly bigger and on this one the, the collar is higher so you get more of a purple collar here at the top but other than that there's not much difference really between the retros and the OGs bigger toe cap there but really apart from the slight difference in the shape and better qualities on the retro not much difference really so yeah I'm gonna just uh, lace these up and put them on feet right now Thank you. 